But the studio did not want me. Um, they tried everything to really keep me from being in the film because they felt that I would, and they were right, that I was not of an equal stature to Paul Newman. And, and they were right about that. Um, there was a 13 year difference in our ages. That was another thing. Um, I knew I could, and, and so the original title of the, of the, uh, the project was The Sundance Kid and Butch Cassidy. That was the original title. And that was because Paul was supposed to play Sundance because he played that kind of a character before in film. But George Roy Hill knew Paul from before when they were in days of live television. And he knew that the real Paul was much more like Butch Cassidy. <laughs> and so when he and I met in a bar on Third Avenue, I, I told him, yeah, I, I can do Butch Cassidy. Um, but they're just putting my name up because I'd done a comedy on, on Broadway. But that's not the part that interests me. I like the other part. And he got intrigued by that. We discussed why, and I told him about my background and what I identified with and what I was comfortable with, which was more of an outlaw thing. And, and uh, he got interested, and then he fought for me to, to do it. The studio tried everything to keep me out of the film. And finally, it settled with Paul and I meeting. So we met uh, in his apartment in New York. And this has a lot to do with Paul as a person and, and why he and I had a lasting friendship. He said, okay, let's go. I want to work with an actor. And the fact that he supported me uh, is what made it possible. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have been in the film. So I always felt that I owed Paul for that. And then, of course, they changed the title of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid because he played Butch Cassidy. <laughs>